we want to determine these key components of the rational function and then graph the rational function. The first step is to factor the numerator and denominator. Looking at the numerator, notice how the greatest common factor is two, but because the leading coefficient is negative, let's factor out negative two. Let's write the numerator as negative two times the quantity x plus one. Notice if we distribute, we still have negative two x minus two, and the denominator doesn't factor. The next step is normally to determine the domain by excluding the zeros of the denominator since division by zero is undefined. Notice positive two is a zero of the denominator and therefore positive two is not in the domain. Let's make a note of this by stating x can't equal two. Next, the zeros of any common factors between the numerator and denominator result in holes. Notice how we don't have any common factors between the numerator and denominator and therefore there are no holes. Let's make a note of this. Next, the zeros of only the denominator result in vertical asymptotes and we know x equals two is a zero of the denominator and therefore x equals two is the equation of the vertical asymptote. The zeros of only the numerator result in horizontal intercepts. Notice how the numerator is zero when x equals negative one which means we have a horizontal intercept at x equals negative one and therefore the horizontal intercept is the point at negative one comma zero. To find the vertical intercept, we set x equal to zero or determine the function value f of zero. So let's find f of zero and we can use any form of the function. Let's go ahead and use this form here where notice how if we substitute zero for x, we'd have a zero here and a zero here giving us just negative two divided by negative two, which is equal to positive one. The vertical intercept is the ordered pair zero comma one. And now to find the horizontal asymptote, we need to determine the end behavior or determine what function value we approach as x approaches infinity or negative infinity. Let's determine the end behavior as x approaches infinity. And again, we can use either form of the function. Let's use the original form. We can determine the end behavior as well as the equation of the horizontal asymptote by analyzing the degree of the numerator and denominator. Notice both the degree of the numerator and denominator are degree one. Whenever the degrees are the same, we are approaching a function value equal to the ratio of leading coefficients, which in this case is negative two over positive one, which is negative two, which means as x approaches infinity, f of x approaches negative two and the horizontal asymptote is the equation y equals negative two. On the online homework system, to graph this basic rational function, we select the rational function graphing tool, click on the intersection point of the horizontal and vertical asymptotes, and then simply click on one point on the graph. To do this by hand though, we'll begin by graphing the horizontal and vertical asymptotes. The vertical asymptote is x equals two, which is here. The horizontal asymptote is y equals negative two, which is here. And now let's plot the intercepts. The horizontal intercept is negative one comma zero, which is here. And the vertical intercept is zero comma one, which is here. So we know one piece of the graph is in this region here, and it passes through these two points and approaches the horizontal and vertical asymptotes. And therefore the graph looks something like this. The second piece of the graph is going to be in this region here, and we could use rotational symmetry about the point two comma negative two to determine points in this region, but let's go ahead and find the point on the graph when x equals four. To do this, we need to find the function value f of four. And we can use either form. This time let's use the factored form. So f of four would be equal to negative two times four plus one is five, divided by the quantity x minus two, which is four minus two, or two. This gives us negative 10 divided by two, which is equal to negative five, which means the point four comma negative five must be on the graph. Four comma negative five is here. Based upon the symmetry, there's going to be another point on the graph here, which we could find by evaluating f of five. Either way, the graph passes through these two points and approaches the asymptotes and looks something like this.
Thank you for watching.